All right, what about this, though? Eating soy may decrease sperm count in men. Well, the phytoestrogens uh, in soy protect one's bones, protect against cancer, but might soy decrease male fertility? Fox News thinks so. <laughs> soy lowers sperm counts. Who says fact? Who says fiction? All right. And the answer is fiction, despite their being fair and balanced. Um, uh, it's interesting why. Now, the study did find that soy decreased sperm concentration, but did not significantly affect sperm count. Well, wait a second. How can you have the same number of sperm in a lower concentration? And that's because of a larger ejaculate volume. What soy does is it stimulates the prostate gland to produce a larger load of ejaculate fluid, and so the concentration is lower, but the actual number of sperm itself is exactly the same. The phytoestrogens aren't the problem for the sperm, it's the xenoestrogens, these human-made chemicals like PCBs and pesticides that can have these estrogenic effects. Where they found the most? Fish. The highest average um, uh, concentration of these toxins were found in urban fish eaters, followed by rural fish eaters, then urban vegetarians, with the lowest levels found in rural vegetarians. Here's the sperm counts. Fish eaters versus vegetarians. And this is because of the industrial toxins in meat and fish in particular. 